what's going on island hoppers today we're coming to you from tamarindo beach in the pacific coast of costa rica let's begin so tamarindo is located in the guanacaste province in the northern part of costa rica just south of papagayo gulf another really popular place with luxury travelers in costa rica so what we're going to do in this tamarindo beach travel guide show you guys around the beach the town show you where we stayed, also take you out on a booze cruise. This beach here is popular with surfers because of the strong currents. Also a boating community exists here as you can see with all the boats off the shore. And people like to do horseback riding. I'm not too sure how I feel about that since you know what the horses do on the beach. While we were sitting down having breakfast, I ended up buying this hat, obviously, uh, for about 20 US dollars. I think it's a good value. Uh, but one thing I will say is we ended up booking a tour to go out on a catamaran. Sometimes they call it a booze cruise. I don't know if they're calling this a booze cruise, but it includes snorkeling. Uh, we're gonna go out there, have some fun. That ended up costing $80 per person. If I wanted to pay using a credit card, it was going to be $95. So having cash on you does pay around here. Before we go out on that sunset cruise, let's take a walk around the town, show you what it looks like here in the actual neighborhood. If you guys watched my other video about the downtown walking tour, you guys can go back and watch it if you haven't already seen it, but I really highlighted this downtown area in that video. So we're just having some drinks before we're getting ready to go out on the catamaran. This is a chili motto. He gave it to me for free. So here we are on Playa Tamarindo, which obviously translates to Tamarindo Beach. If you look back over here, you can see the restaurants right up against the ocean here. Some hotels, but most of the hotels are actually going to be back up the hill a bit, which is good in case there's a tsunami, by the way. But where we're actually headed now is on a catamaran headed out to the ocean, Del Mar. We're gonna go around this point that you see right over here. And then we're gonna go to a private beach, snorkel for about an hour or so. But we're gonna have a lot of fun. You guys are gonna love this one, so do stick around.
party. Let's do this. You know, on these kind of sunset cruises, they say going out there, people are kind of relaxed, but on the way back, they're really partying. This crew that we went out with, everybody was having fun on the way out and on the way back. So uh, this was a pretty lit crew right here. But it's also probably because we left at 12 o'clock in the afternoon. See, we made it to the shore. I use these floaties, you don't need them, but uh, I'm such a, you know, worry wart. I wear them anyway, just in case, you know, high tide or something, but we made it to this beach, check it out. We're at Lapa Lapa. Cheers. Yeah, so we got a uh, lobster here. I got mixed veggies and mashed potatoes. So this is a fresh lobster fr straight out of Costa Rica. Let's dive in.
Here's a look at the hotel we stayed at. It was $100 a night. We stayed two nights here, but it was adults only. So after being in some resorts with lots of kids screaming, hanging out at the pool, I was ready for an adults only pool for sure. Also really good for working and getting things done. So after a few days in Tamarindo, pleasant, relaxing days by the way, we decided to head down to the Nicoya Peninsula. So you'll want to stick around for the next one because we're going to be coming to you from Montezuma, Santa Teresa, down there on the Nicoya Peninsula, also Tortuga Island. But this is Tamarindo, real nice town just south of Papagayo Gulf. Hope you guys enjoy it and we'll see you on the next one.